Commander, something on your mind? What about the extra help we've picked up along the way? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support, while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. Nothing more, sir. And Shepard, I thought you might like to know I've got word on your mother. Oh? She's alive and well and promoted to Rear Admiral. She's helping us plan logistics for the Crucible. Thank you, sir. That's a relief to hear. I figured having another Shepard around couldn't hurt, and she's damn proud of what you're doing out there. Hack it out. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious. Just... <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Alright, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So, a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top-secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself! The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well... well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like, I figured they deserved a chance. Thank you, Commander. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion. Before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. Commander? What's on your mind, Edie? I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory. But it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor. Don't ask them. Hello, Shepard. Another Reaper gone, and peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There's still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day. The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Perhaps we can talk later. 
peace between the Geth and Corians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. And next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Oh, right. You managed that one too. You're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. Not right now. Flush. Mmm. Full house. Caught it on the river. Shit. Thought you were bluffing on the flush. Good for you. Cannon, Lieutenant. <laughs> yes, sir, Major Alenko, sir. Hey, Commander. Shepard, I'd deal you in, but Vega just cleaned me out. Oh, come on. That really as deep as your pockets go? No sentimental crap stowed away? Investments? I got some land on the Sunshine Coast I could put up. <laughs> I'll pass. That was quite the negotiation you pulled off. And having both the Quarians and the Geth on our side? That's a very good thing. Totally took down a Reaper. Yeah. Sure did. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you know, I'm just gonna have to go with you on trusting the gas. I hope it works out. Now, yeah, let's talk later. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, subject zero, is sorry, but it's man to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard, you know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither of you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard. Hero of the Citadel. Conqueror of the Collectors. Savior of the Galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for. Alive or gone. <laughs> that makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. To a woman I'm proud to call my friend. I'm lucky to have you with me, Karen. And to you, dear friend. It is my great honor to share this journey with you. Commander Shepard. And good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. You comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I... What? You don't like my legs? Gabby, it's you. You know? No, chicken shit, I don't know. All you do is make stupid sexist comments to avoid saying anything real. Gabby, now's not the time. We've got work to do. Responsibilities. Ah, grow a pair, Ken. Look around you. Tomorrow may not come. Something to say, or no? We're not fighting this war for ourselves, Donnelly. We're fighting for the people close to us. Time is short. I see your point, Commander. Gabby, I think your legs are spectacular. Well, that's a start. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. From Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. 
They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them, the suits have become part of our society, but a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you? No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets, and I'd have been wrong. Thank you. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Hey, Shepard. Another Reaper has died. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these Quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces, and we are their prey. Do not care what others think, do what you must. I appreciate you checking in on me. Trader, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. They could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Any updates, Shepard? Our backup is waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company, Grogan Commandos. That's correct, Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from Batarian pirates made them famous. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. I thought we'd heard the last of the Rachni. The Reapers must have turned them into those things you reported on Tachanka. We're here to find out what happened to the Krogan scouts. If the Rachni are involved, the situation changes. It doesn't make sense. We let the last Rachni queen live on the condition she disappeared forever. She was desperate to save her race. Just be ready for anything.
Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team 2. See anything, let me know. Grunt? Shepard? <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How did you go from being new and unproven to your own command? <laughs> wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal, and being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank-bred Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Hey, <laughs> glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. A chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. We've seen some Rachni, Grunt. The Reapers got to them. But we don't know if Rachni are involved here. Our job is to find out what happened to the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. A nest? Yes, Grunt. That would be lucky. <laughs> Our luck company! Move out! Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Take what you need and move out. a good choice for this mission. Not that I don't expect a lot of sophisticated computer equipment down in this cave filled with poisonous gas and monsters. Ready, Shepard. We're right behind you. You ready to go? What did you do after the Collectors were defeated? I spent most of my time back on Tachanka learning what it was to be Krogan. In the lab where I was created, the lessons were like fighting with practice weapons. They had no bite, no impact. I needed the blood and pain. I made mistakes, but I learned. Tell me more about this company. Arlac means Eye of Wrath. We are named after the fierce Tichanka son. Rex handpicked us from different clans to show a united Krogan. We were sent because we're the strongest. Did Warlord Okir imprint anything on you about the Rachni during your creation? Okir ensured I knew of the Rachni. They are respected as an enemy. Everyone thought they were dead, defeated by the Krogan. You prove that wrong. If they're here, my blood demands they die. What happened to the scouting party? Looks like something dropped half their camp down a hole. Their shuttle must have been lost as well. They weren't going anywhere. Doesn't matter. We're here to find the Rachni and burn them out. All right, let's get going. Finally! Right behind you, Shepard. Ever 
everyone all right? Shepard! You in one piece? Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way! What's that? I see it. Grunt. Got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Yeah. If he has his weapon, grab it. You won't need it anymore. Is that... webbing? Looks like it. Stay close, it's easy to get separated. Agreed. Everybody be ready. I don't know. Watch it. Careful where you step. Note the wire, Shepard. Reaper tech? Maybe. Roger that. Grunt, Rachni presence confirmed. Modified and very dangerous. Finally, something to kill. Nothing here yet. Lost a Krogan to a sinkhole. Bad way to go. We should find the next. Reaper troops are here to keep us out. No question, Reapers have been here. Agreed. Let's find out why. Some kind of barrier, Shepard. Copy that. It must open somehow. Looks like some sort of power source. It was some kind of lock. Look out! That was our way out! Looks like we're finding another way out of here. Come on. What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Cave in. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. That hurts my feelings, Grunt. Yeah, yeah. Shepard, I know what happened to the scouts. What did you find? deep into the caves. He knew the next team would need help. They died making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. Shepard! <gasps> Looks like a last message. He's asked that it be delivered to an Asari named Ereba on the Citadel. A 
another hall. Expect trouble. Casualties? It's fine. Krogan fight better angry. Spiders! 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 The Ragnarok thrive on toxic planets. Strange to find them in a breathable atmosphere. The Reapers change them more than we expect. Throwing everything they've got at us so we don't reach the nest. Stopping us. That was Reaper Tech. We ran into it too. The Rachni have backed off for now, but they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Grun. Those barriers were protecting whatever's down that passage. We'll dig in here, kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. Krogan! Get ready! More eggs! Take it slow. located the central chamber. Good. We got your back, Shepard.
Copy that. Reapers did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines is everywhere. I let you go back in Novaria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. We remember. We kept our promise. Retreated back through the relay. We started a new home. Beautiful children. Harmony. But the machines came. They heard our song. Their shriek of our elves drowned us out. They can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. The children return. They will destroy us all. Release us! We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really us. She's badly wounded. She needs time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our lack company dies. Is that clear? Listen up. Arlak Company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team! On my way! Shepard? That's an order. 
She's too valuable an asset to lose. down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard! Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Grunt! Anybody got something to eat? situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rachni Queen. We got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Messages, Commander. Close range. The Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long-range communication without quantum entanglement... ...maybe when this war is over. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Apparently, he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. <laughs> Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Shepard. I had a question about human behavior. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. The Asari word she used translates as blabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Yeah, tell me about it. Hello, Shepard. Wasn't the first time we've faced Ragnai. 
Really? You've seen them before? A few years back, on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragni Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. Mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead Reapers now. Siding with the giant spiders again, huh, Shepard? Let's hope this finally pays off. Most people have never even seen Arachni. The Normandy? We're a regular safari tour. If I never see another spider again, I'll die a contented Turian. Unless they have spiders in the afterlife. Damn. Not right now. Silicon. Is there really a difference? People feel emotion. Artificial intelligence is programmed. Punch me, I get angry. I don't choose. I just get angry. Our emotions are programming. That's not the sad thing. Our emotions are a natural. Disease, parasites, lions ate their prey alive. Nature can be horrible. So now you're siding with the Reapers? Just because I'm saying the Reapers are alive doesn't mean I want them to stay that way. Genetics don't make us alive. It's our self-awareness, curiosity, and capacity to evolve. Well put, Commander. Of course you'd say that. You two are practically machines yourselves. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five ex-Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax's part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Thanks for coming by. So, Rachni again, eh? Releasing the Queen came back to bite us in the ass, I guess. Never know what would have happened if we'd killed her. Sure, but if a butterfly flaps its wings and all that... You a fan of Chaos Theory, Caden? Only so I can fight it. Hmm. Hope bringing the Rachni on side works out. Can't talk right now. That must get your mouth watering. Can't do a story. That's as classified as it gets. I suppose it would cause a panic. But wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. Being the only Turian on the ship? I don't know. Should I? I just mean not having anyone else like you around. Mm, doesn't seem to bother Liara. But she can eat their food. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello, Commander. We were just uh, double checking the thermal ducts. I'm sure you were. Carry on. Do you think Shepard noticed? I'm sorry, he didn't. I'm so embarrassed. Commander. I understand you faced Rachni on your mission. You know about them? In our cycle, we use them as weapons. Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked, until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. There was no such thing as trusting the Arachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight the Reapers now, so be it. Rachni proved the universe favors the strong. Our cycle tried to exterminate them, then yours, and they still survived. I would prefer to be alone.
Everything okay, Shepard? Commander Shepard, heard not Dag. I speak for Arlock Company. Your second in command? I am honored to be chosen for this duty. I'm glad you made it. Three hundred years it took to take back the quarry and homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. I still can't believe you went inside again. I, I don't even... Loco. Completely loco. Rachni? Of all the things to... It's like you got the opposite of a horseshoe up your ass. Grunt is crazier than you. And that's saying something. You're better looking at least. Hey, 